Hi flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and today I'm at the Boone Street Nursery where I will continue the job, the job that never ends, I'm potting up plants. I have received more shipments in since the last time I saw you guys. I will have, I filmed an unboxing video because I got a whole shipment in of proven winners plants and I also received some bare root shrubs and trees and some bushes, stuff like that. I'm planting and potting all of that stuff up but I wanted to show you guys an update of greenhouse number one. Greenhouse number one has a whole bunch of hanging baskets and annuals and some perennials too. And those have been in their pots for about three weeks now. Overall, things are looking great. I am dealing with some fungus gnats, but I'm using some beneficial insects, some nematodes. I'm working with a company called IPM in Lock, New York. It's integrated pest management where they send me beneficial insects and I am using those to combat the insects that I don't want here, like those fungus, gna fungus gnats. I'm sure there will be other things. No signs yet of thrips. I did see an aphid the other day, just like four of them. And I inspected everything around and I didn't see any more, but I am keeping an eye out. In fact, my friend Miranda, my, one of my team members, Miranda is coming here today. And the job that I'm going to give her is just to walk around and look at the plants, just to make sure that we're not gonna be dealing with any other sort of infestation. All right, so we've done a lot since the last time I saw you. In fact, we have green doors again. I actually was not here when my cousin Michael installed the brand new double doors. Painting of the green door commences. Greeny, green, green, you can't wait. Using a roller or a brush, it's so controversial. Mom and Aunt Jan spent a couple of days getting, I don't know, I think at least three coats. I think there may be four coats on some parts, but the green is absolutely beautiful. I love it again. And then last night I painted, I would say 80% of the retail floor. Uh, obviously we still need to patch the floor. I have products actually delivering today to do a little patch on the floor to make sure it's a smooth transition from one section to the next because half of it's wood, half of it's concrete, and there's a little bit of a a lip where the transition meets and I want to make that lip a very smooth transition so people don't trip. I also have my seed displays in. This is only here because I needed to move it because the, the paint was, you know, the floor. I couldn't have it on the floor. So I am partnering with Botanical Interests and that is the seed that I'm going to be offering here at the nursery to my community. And I went ahead and got, a, basically <laughs> they, they make regional. So this is the Northeast Regional Seed Mix. It's 60 seed packets. It includes mostly vegetables, but there are some flowers. And then I also picked up the Sunflower Countertop Display. It has 16 different varieties of sunflowers. And then I also picked up the cut flower variety pack, which is I think 16 packs of different cut flowers and I'll be selling all of those. In fact, guys, I just announced yesterday that I'm gonna be open the weekend of April 1st and April 2nd, just for what I'm calling seeds, succulents, and a sneak peek. So people will be able to come and grab their seeds, but also shop some succulents if they're interested. They make really cute Easter gifts. And then get a sneak peek just in greenhouse number one, just where I'm taking you. So if you see this video, you don't have a reason to come other than to hang out. Greenhouse number one is the only one that is, I guess, customer friendly right now. The back of the nursery is a huge mess right now because of everything that's getting potted up. And I am stuffed to the gills with plants. And I have a huge shipment coming again next week for the rest of the plants. But remember still, I have greenhouse number four that is not, it's empty right now. So I have space to expand. Yeah, so April 1st and April 2nd, I'm opening up from 10 to four. Just for a sneak peek, people can come in, get their seeds and look around at the renovations. I know there's a lot of interest in the community. I just caught my, this is a Bluetooth speaker. Everyone asks me all the time. And uh, that's it. And then I'll be opening again for keepsies on Earth Day. I thought that was uh, a pretty a pretty good day to open up for keeps, but even then, the annuals and the hanging baskets are not going to be ready for sale. I'll be opening up on Earth Day for things like seeds, if people need seeds, the succulents. I have some cactuses coming in, but also things like cool crops, the vegetables, the, the lettuces and the broccolis and the kale and the cabbages, things that you can plant out early. I'll also, hopefully, have my cool flowers ready if anyone is interested in planting some of those at their properties. Around here, our last frost sometimes is the third, sometimes the last week in May. In fact, 
Some people don't even plant their gardens out or their annuals out until the beginning of June in our area. We are zone 4B and it does take a while for spring to actually arrive. Anyway, let's go into the greenhouse and check out how things have grown over the past three weeks. It's still messy. I also got some dahlias. Oh, those are the things too that I'll have. I'll have all my merch out. Oh, this is how I stack the tables <laughs> so that I could paint the floor because I had already painted that four foot section. Um, but there are also clematis and some dahlias and some peonies. But all right, we're going through the green double door. It is such a mess down in the age. Well, it's not a mess, but we're just busy working. So we're just going to go into greenhouse number one today. And then we'll go and visit number three in another video. All right, here we are. The fans are so loud. I might have to do a voiceover on this one. But this is a look at number one. You'll notice we had to put a piece of plywood here because the heater is right there and that was blowing on the grass and turning it a little bit brown. And the ones that weren't in front of the heater were perfectly fine. I just watered, that's why they're laying over. But this is the grasses that I've been growing now for three weeks. These are sun patients that have been patiently growing. I did notice that I have a bloom right here. I could pinch that off. So pretty. That is some of the straw flower that I have growing here. It's really taken off. Um, the yarrow is starting to fill out the pots. So is the echinacea. Guys, the herb bowls are huge and I still have yet to build the other side. So we're replicating this setup on the other side of the greenhouse and these are the boards for that project. So they're just in the way here and that's okay. There's some more lupins. We've got the German Ivy is looking real good. But remember guys, I just watered. So um, some things are a little bit uh, <laughs> sad right now. <laughs> the, herb, the herb baskets are heavy with, with water. I overhead water these with a spray, but they're huge i'm actually going to be offering these for sale next weekend as well we'll totally get these offloaded to be honest with you guys i need to get some sort of income coming in because the money outgoing let's turn beauteous the outgoing money for this place is absolutely insane it costs so much to get product in um, and there's no money coming in right now so it's been difficult so i said all right i, I gotta open check this calabrocoa out these baskets are doing so well. They're really starting to fill out. And then over here we have more echinacea. And look at the junkus grass. It's really taking off. The canna is starting to get so tall that I have to move those baskets up. I already moved these two up. Um, but the canna is really growing. I've got some paper, fungus gnat paper you could see the fungus gnats that have stuck to that. That's water droplets from watering earlier, but look at those baskets. They're starting to fill out. Remember, they've got another six weeks of growing left to do. Vinca vines, I pinched all of those, and so they're looking good. Here are some proven winners things that I still have to pot up, but I'm not gonna show you guys that yet because that's gonna be a different video. Here's some of those uh, Cleomes. Those are getting bigger, um, but oh my goodness. The Dichondra Silver Falls is starting to billow out of all of the, the baskets and the Angelonia is so sweet, so cute. But let's take a look at some of the other baskets because I'm so excited about them. Oh, I thought you guys might like a little fern. The ferns are getting bigger. They're a very slow grower, but they are getting bigger. And oh, the, the loafus, everything's looking great. There's another alleyway of uh, straw flowers. And then we have the other vining plants, which I've pinched, guys. I've pinched a lot of these, so they don't look like they've grown much, but I've pinched them and they're starting to set out new shoots. All right, let's go up here. Wow, everything is just filling out nicely. This is the Remember When basket. It's got the begonias and the euphorbia and the chukra. It's really filling out nicely. All of them are. Wow. 
Look at that. The dichondra is spilling over and doing its job beautifully. Now I did recently pinch all of the petunias. So a lot of these plants need to be pinched in order for them to branch out and fill up. And I found all this information out in the culture guide of my Jolly Farmer book. We installed new fans. There's a fan way up there. There's a fan down there. You guys saw those in a previous video. You should have. Um, and then look at the, over here, we've got the fuchsias are starting to spread. Really excited about those. I have a lot of those. They're, don't look at my, don't mind my garbage. And the new lights we have are finished. They're so amazingly bright. I actually cursed when I turned them on for the first time because I was so in shock at how beautiful they were. This is, this is part of uh, my beneficial insects. This is actually an aphid eliminator. Now I had this in my other room and then the bugs in here hatched and then they flew out and they're what it kind of is for aphids. They'll eat the aphids and take care of them for me. Here's the other thing. Okay, so this thing back here, um, that was another beneficial insect that I released in here and I did it with a sprayer. You mix the beneficial insects with water and then you spray them and they will kind of hang out in the soil and eat all of the fungus gnat larvae and eggs. Um, these are dragon wing begonias that I just got in. And then back here, there's some more fuchsia. Remember we started with these little tiny plugs and I've pinched these two guys. They're really starting to take off, but these will all be hanging in number four uh, or somewhere. And the tables are gonna be built here so I can have more table space over here. Let's see, we've got pansies right there. They're growing well. And then these are a lot of tomatoes that I have growing for six packs and I'll pop them up into six packs. That's about it. Everything is filling up. It's so green and so good. The colors on my phone, I'm using my phone to record right now, are a little bit more yellow toned than what these plants look like in real life. But look, you can see the cannas <laughs> starting to, to grow up underneath these baskets. So I need to move the baskets up. They're on hangers right now. I need to move them up to the actual pole. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to bring you a quick update uh, I have had so much going on. Let me flip the camera around. A lot of the things I'm learning is through other growers. I'm making connections and my friend Leaf from another greenhouse, I told you guys in my last video that I had a consultant coming and he did come, we walked around, he showed me, okay, pinch this, pinch this, pinch this, pinch it here, pinch it there, um, pinch it everywhere. And my mom and I actually spent almost a whole day going around and pinching all the petunias Everything has a schedule. Verbena is supposed to be pinched at planting. And then uh, so with petunia, you're supposed to pinch those right away. And then calabrocoa, which is like these yellow ones right here, you're supposed to wait a couple more weeks before you pinch those. A lot of that is in the culture guide from Jolly Farmer, but it doesn't have a photo guide of where you're supposed to pinch these things off. And a lot of these plants are new to me. So to have Leaf come here, walk around, I literally just followed him with a camera. <laughs> and he showed me where to pinch things. Also, he was, a lot of times he goes, for this Lucy, he goes, he goes, you just close your eyes and pinch. Ah! And, and a lot of times you don't want to do it, but you have to do it because then the plant gets bigger. So that's what's been going on. So many plants. I also have the seedling video. I have it 90% done in my basement. But guys, I got to tell you, I have had a horrific infestation in my basement and I'll tell you all about it when I show you my seedling video. It's, it's not good. It's in fact awful, but it's just one of those problems that comes up and you have to tackle it and do the best that you can. I'm going to be starting seeds over again because I feel um, that I probably will have to get rid of some of the seedlings in my basement because of this infestation. But I'll tell you guys all about that in that other video, but don't worry. Everything's going to be okay. I started thousands of seedlings for my cut flower farm. It's still way happening and I will have a lot of content farming related. I promise everything is just chaos right now, but it's a fun, it's a, it's a good chaos, but it is a very time consuming chaos. I am here long, long times. This has already been such a learning year. I am so grateful for it already because I'm learning, you know, what plants to buy. What am I, what's, what's missing here? What do I have too much of? And also those things, time will tell with a lot of those things, but I already know, oh shoot, people are already asking me about mandevillas. 
and I don't have any. And after I get a little bit more experience doing things, I wanna give you guys more detailed videos like, like the nematodes and the beneficial insects because that's something that is important to me to do here. I don't wanna have to get a pesticide license. I don't wanna spray things in here. Um, that'll kind of be a last resort if everything is way too out of control. But the, the point of using beneficial insects is to uh, prevent the problem before it, it's a problem. That's why I have the aphid eliminator. That's already here. I've only seen five aphids. It doesn't, I'm sure there's like a million. And I'm pretty sure I saw a spider might crawl on my hand yesterday. There's a little orange as I was taking something out of the new plug that I just got in. So um, that's another thing Dr. Alan Armitage told me is um, it's a good idea to uh, quarantine new plants as they come in so you can inspect them and make sure. But the way that I have things set up right now, there is no space to quarantine. That's heated. I don't have a heated space that doesn't already have plants in it. So I understand and maybe that's something in the future looking to getting a little quarantine room so that I can keep the plants separate before I introduce them into the greenhouses. I totally get the reasoning behind that and I definitely agree with it. All right, well, I finished watering this morning. I will take you guys into greenhouse number three, but I gotta be honest with you, I don't wanna spoiler alert it because it is full of a lot of proven winter's plants and I did film an unboxing video of that. So I wanna show you guys the plants that I have on and maybe I'll do that as like a, all in all in one video we'll unbox the proven winter's plants and then we'll do an update in number three because those hanging baskets in there uh it's amazing actually ash the girl who was planting ranunculus with me in the last video she actually came here again on thursday she's coming every thursday and she helped me pot up stuff here she did a lot of the pansies and she potted up dusty miller and stuff like that but she walked into number three and she's like ah there's so much color and there is there's so much color i'm so excited things are looking good so far. We, we did have one issue where the mandevilla that I got in had some sort of fungus or something wrong with it, but it quickly went from a beautiful green plant to a yellow spotty leaf. And I texted a picture to my buddy leaf and I said, hey, I'm suspicious of this plant. Should I get rid of these? And he said, bag them and toss them out. So that's what we did and my Aunt Jan actually uh, bleached the pots. We threw out the soil and the plants, kept the pots and soaked them in a bleach solution and that's what she did for a couple of hours yesterday. So so grateful for the time that my friends and family have been able to commit to me to help me do this thing because I could not do this alone. Everyone is pitching in and it's an awesome experience to have it. It's just been amazing. So shout out to my friends and my family. I love you guys. My mom has literally washed over a thousand pots this week. <laughs> she said, Nicole, I think I need a break from washing pots. My hands are cracking. <laughs> Overall, I'm super happy. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go get that hanging basket and bring it down and show you guys. This just makes me so happy. I really, I thought my favorite hanging basket was gonna be the one that I told you before. I can't remember the name of it right now. Um, but anyway, this is quickly becoming my favorite hanging basket and this isn't even like ready yet but you can see the little white buds on the euphorbia it's kind of like a fireworks i can't remember the name of it it's called euphorbia star blast snowdrift and that's going to be exactly like what it says it's a star blast snowdrift um and these begonias they get so tall and remember when i showed you this tag it's coming to life before our eyes all right, guys, thanks for sticking around. More updates to come. Thanks for being patient with me. I know I haven't been uploading as often as I want to. I'm just really overwhelmed and just trying to get it done. I'll be sharing. I am recording things and I'll be sharing them as soon as possible. Mwah. Thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you soon. A little bonus for anyone who stayed to the end of the video. Instead of a blooper today, I want to introduce you guys to a new friend of mine. This is Evangeline, also known as Evie. And she hangs out with me every day here at the nursery and she's the sweetest thing. She doesn't live here, she lives at home with us, but she's definitely gonna be spending some time here at the nursery, our little mascot. So she's only been with us for about two weeks, but she's right at home here. She's the queen, Evangeline the queen. Hi, baby.